Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, our friend Lindsay flew in from Maui to join us for a couple weeks of adventure in Nicaragua. So far we've hiked Esteli, explored Somoto Canyon, and played in the surf on the Pacific Coast. We had a fun couple of days here at Los Cocos Hostel, and we're just packing up, and we're gonna head to Leon today. We're gonna go check out the cathedral, hopefully, and I think that we are gonna go up to the national park where we can go volcano boarding. Cathedral of Leon and Matt is taking him for the team and staying with the car and with the dog. This is Cathedral of the Assumption of Mary. It is a Roman Catholic church constructed from 1747 till 1814 and consecrated by Pope Pius IX in 1860. It is one of the best known cathedrals in the Americas due to its brilliant white facade, unique architecture, and of course, its size, being the largest cathedral in Central America. In addition to admiring the cathedral at ground level, tourists can pay a fee equivalent to three US dollars to ascend the staircase to the bell tower and out onto the roof of the cathedral. It's quite a climb to get to the top, but it affords a closer look at the architecture and some of the best views in the city. Of course, no trip to Leon would be complete without walking through the plazas, perusing the shops, and sampling some local coffee. Hi, Matt! Hi! How's been watching the car? A little bit warm, our shade went away. Aww! Zaggy, are you hot? It's not, we're good. Well, we're just walking through Leon and looking for somewhere to eat now that we've explored the city a little bit and the church. Well, we were definitely looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, but since what we found wasn't open yet, we I also had seen this place, El Carbon. So I got the uh, four different kinds of chorizo, Argentinian, Latino, Spanish, don't remember the other one, tostones, which is fried plantains, beans, and look at this, that's cheese. <laughs> I got a steak of grilled cheese. Matt got some pollo asado tacos. And Lindsay, what did you get? Chorizo quesadilla. Oh wow, thank you. All right, we just had a really nice lunch in Leon at El Carbon. And we got in contact while we were there with a tour company for the Sierra Negro volcano boarding. So hopefully it all works out. We're gonna meet them at 3.30 up at the park. And the big reason we're just driving up there instead of staying in Leon is it's really hard to find a place where we can have Jagger. And then when we do find a place, we have to then go find parking for the car. And it was just easier to consider going up to the park and camping. And it's a lot cheaper. So that's what we're doing. We're going volcano boarding tonight. Volcan Hoya and Volcana Pilas, but 
we think, based on what the guy was saying in our limited Spanish, that there is just one park entrance hut, and so we're at it, and our volcano tour company is supposed to just meet us here, and I guess we will get in the van with them and drive to Cerro Negro, which is over there. Uh, but they did say we can camp, and it's gonna be five dollars a day. They have bathrooms and toilets, and jetties can be here. We're just in the back of the visitor's center, below, um, that's Volcan Oya over there. It's pretty comfy, they've got some nice facilities here. And we're just waiting for the tour operator, we're just waiting for the tour operator that we booked with to show up, so hopefully that happens. <laughs> The tour arrived pretty close to on time, and we were quickly loaded into the back of their Land Cruiser and on our way to Cerro Negro. Ooh, going wow. volcano so Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Arriving at the base of the volcano, we were each issued a small backpack containing coveralls and goggles, and a volcano board, which is essentially a wooden sled. We shouldered our equipment and began the steep hike up the Cerro Negro volcano. This is a relatively young volcano. Its first known eruption was less than 200 years ago. But it's been working hard since then with 23 recorded eruptions in this relatively short amount of time. Its most recent eruption was in 1999 and was triggered by three earthquakes that occurred within three hours. Arriving at the rim of the main crater, we experienced an increased sulfur smell and some incredible views. By putting our hands close to the ground, we could feel the heat emanating from the earth below. It was a bit nerve wracking, but also a unique opportunity to feel this natural energy that we seldom think about. At the far end of the crater, we suited up in our coveralls and goggles to protect ourselves from the volcanic stone and dust that we would be kicking up as we made our descent. Our guide gave us his last words of advice, and then we started making our descents one at a time, following the path that previous tours have worn into the stone. We used our feet to slow down, but there wasn't really any way of steering, and if you let yourself get going too fast, you couldn't dig your feet in anymore to slow down. So you were walking a fine line if you let yourself get going. Lindsay was the most successful volcano boarder out of the three of us and really enjoyed it. I let myself get out of control and nearly lost it at the end when it got kind of bumpy. Amy played it safe, plowing gravel with her feet and slowly cursing her way down the entire mountain. Volcano boarding is a lot like snow sledding from my experience, just hotter and dirtier. In the end, nobody got hurt, and we all got to experience another beautiful part of Nicaragua. Including a lovely sunset out of the back of the truck as we made our way back to camp. So all I hear is a shriek. Lindsay's screaming. She says she has three huge frogs in her shower. Let's go see. All right, coming in, Lindsay. 
I can't. If they jump on me, I'll slip and crack my head open. Oh, they're so cool. I know, they're... Oh, shit. <laughs> there's one, two, there's three. <laughs> I'm glad I looked better. I thought they were rock. <laughs> I mean, I can see why you think they're rock. Those people must have had some serious lava in their clothes. Look at that stuff. Can it's you? huge. <laughs> Um, I, I would love showering with frogs. What? Yeah, frogs are cool. They're definitely more scared of you than you are of them. <laughs> I'm not scared of them, just if they, one jumps on me, I'm gonna crack my head on it here. Maybe we can do... Just... You're gonna plunger them. Come on you guys, can't. let's go, let's go. Time to go. Show's <laughs> over. <laughs> Adjacent to it is where we slid down yesterday. That's really a horrible idea. It's a great idea. Five stars. <laughs> Good morning. It's day 304 for Matt, I, and Jagger. How many days is it for you, Lynn? I lost track. Seven? Okay. I think that works. <laughs> uh, we are on our way to Leon. We gotta do a little provision run and it's the only place I've been able to find my Kung Pao chicken socks and I'm kind of addicted to that right now. And then we're gonna spend three to five hours in the car. Yay! <laughs> Dagger, are you excited? He looks thrilled. Uh, we are on our way back to Playa Gigante. Lindsay really wanted to check out the place that we worked many, many, many years ago and it's just a really excellent bay for like chilling out swimming and that such stuff so all right we'll see you we'll see you down there next time on the traveling together journal we explore the colorful city of granada and relax in the best beach town southern nicaragua has to offer